Zara Larson is so good on BBC Radio so 1. Get in here. Um, what? 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 Okay, so this is uh, more what chaos than I thought because now, guys, we're on air. You know, you know, you know Katie's. Yeah. Uh, hi, Ed Sheeran. What's up? Hey, uh, Jed Wooder here. This is Jed Sheeran. Jed Living Sheeran for life. Reunited. We go course. way back. Get on the mic. Come on. Ed I told you this dad, is going to be. Shout out to Ed Sheeran's dad, all the family. I, mean, I told you this was going to be and crazy. We've been in Canada together. <laughs> this is what it's all about. We watched, when's, when's the last time you saw Jed Wooder, Ed? Huh? In when's his la- dreams. When's the last time you you've uh, seen these lads? Oh God, I don't know. When was it? When we wrote the the, the future album for Gingerbread Records. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's yeah. coming. It's coming out. And James coming Blunt, out. shout to James Blunt. But but I remember um, we were. <laughs> He's in love with Tara Reid. <laughs> we were, wow. He's married now. But, yeah, no, but, but we were uh, we we uh, I think I think it was when the World Cup was on and I was in. No, this wasn't the last time, but it was one of the times we were in Toronto mm. and I was driving through the street and I just saw Jedwood and I was like. And you picked Jedward! up. He drove and by then, in his SUV. Yeah, and being took, the gentleman he is, he took us off the street and brought us into his SUV. And, and then, and then, and then drove them back to the hotel because there was a France game on. It was the World, <laughs> World Cup, and I put it on, and they were on eBay ordering like uh, <laughs> Justin Timberlake, no, just, on, Justin Timberlake uh, singles, T-shirts. and they were like, and "Should we buy this head?" No, no, was, he fell asleep. He fell asleep. <laughs> you fell asleep. We put a blanket we on you. Him I, was so, I was so jet lagged. Uh, Jedward, uh, yeah. what are you saying about Ed's new music? I think it's, it's really good. Guess what? Guess what? <laughs> I think it's We're good. We're about to go into Big Brother no, and we no, snuck no. our laptop in. It's different. In. It's nice for him to do it. Like, this first two songs that came out, it's nice to have that big sound because he is playing stadiums. <laughs> and it's nice to have that big sound to get everyone going, you know, because your songs are real intimate and personal. And that song that he brought out recently, which it wasn't an official single, I was listening to on the radio this morning. On the way here, Take Chris. A breath. Take Chris a breath. told us to come here at 10 o'clock. Yeah, and now we're here at like two. Do you know it took them so long to get in? Mm. Why? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we're meeting the president. Because we're enthusiastic and we're coming to see us. That's cool. Uh, how c- so you guys have been wearing your hair down and now it's yeah, up we again. Change it up, Ed. I want to like- style your hair, Ed. I want to put some coconut oil now. I want to get like a nice <laughs> shape on it. Let me style your hair. I trust me. Yeah, I will. It looks it actually, no, it actually, is real great. I can see it's a bit styled, even though it looks doesn't look styled. What is going on? Um, right, we don't even Chris, really need to be here. What's going on is that we're just chilling. The, it's just the um, Jed Sheeran show now. Jed yeah. Sheeran. Yeah. yeah. Do we gonna learn Jed? I didn't sign up for this. Where's why is Jed Sheeran? Can I tell you? Can I tell you once? This is this is this is gonna be a bad name drop. But I once turned down a party with Paul McCartney to go and. Party with Jedward. No, you didn't. That's a fact. That's a fact. That's a fact. Do you remember? You. Do you remember? I did a beat. I did a Beatles tribute thing. Oh yeah, and, yeah, 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 yeah. And I gave Jedward their first ever Jaeger bomb. It's all coming out now. Ed, what are you saying? <laughs> yeah, we did. But I, guess I, what? I, I, Our I, first uh, drink we ever had was with Ed. It was on the Grammy night I, party. So and you I gave us the Jaeger bomb. I forced it down them. They were like, "Oh, it's a long, slippery we did road." We <laughs> song for drunk. No, we haven't drank ever since. I don't think you will. No, I know. Yeah. No, they I won't. They won't drink it. You didn't. You didn't enjoy it, did you? No, it was great. I know. Remember, we made a promise when we're forty, we're going to try something else. Murray. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, right, so um, we're here to play In Your Bingo with Jedward. Um, I mean, you're very welcome to join in there, but I'm guessing. As long as I. Can I not be the one that gets squirted? I'm no, just going to. You can do you it. Just, you, can, you can do it. We, squirt water on us. We, we can avoid you if you want to play. Yeah, I'm going to stand over where you are. Yeah. You can just squirt water on okay. us. How are you guys, though? You're doing Ed's well. Ed's family's from Big, Wexford. How was Big, how was Big Brother? Ed, trust it me, it was off the Was wall, it great? Okay. You, they didn't, none of them gave us a chance. They were all. They were all reality stars. Did any did anyone get their kahunas out? They got them all out. Trust me, every second mm. they could, they got them out. I like you know, the I like the clean one though. I really like yeah. Yeah. She's nice. She's nice. Well, I, want, I wanted them. I wanted them to win. She's vintage. Nice okay. Okay. Yeah, but you got you, you guys got the check though, didn't you? Yeah, it's all about the check. Okay, all, we, it doesn't matter if you're in there for one day. We just did it because we, we wanted to do it again. Did Ray, J, did Ray J get the check? Because he left, didn't I he? I hope so. I'm not sure. I don't he know He didn't, and he's going to get his crew after them all, and they have to give it to him. <laughs> so here's the thing, right? We've got Jedward's song here. Have yes. you heard this one, Ed? No. We wrote um, this song. It's called Hologram. Ed, you heard Ferocious. You heard Ferocious. Have you heard that? No. Banger. Right, okay. Do you want to hear Hologram? Yep. Ed's okay. got a tiger tattoo. It's like Here it is. Jedward. Ed Sheeran now listening to this live in the studio on Radio 1. I want your honest views after this.
Oh, it's, 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 you're it's a hologram. In real life, but deep down, he doesn't. Sometimes he doesn't reply to his DMs. Right, I do reply to my DMs. Sometimes, Scott, you've been, well, you've been bombarding only, me today. Only when people slide into them. They were like. When you were doing your live lounge earlier, I've got to let you into a secret. I was like, oh no, this is going to be a Calvin Harris pineapple on head situation. Nah, Calvin <laughs> Harris is more enthusiastic than we were to see Ed. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, when you were doing their songs, your songs, they were DMing me going, we're going to gate crash Ed. It's going to be great. I was like, please don't. No. Please come back at one. Do you know what, do you know what would, do you know what would, would be amazing? Just having you as backup dancers. <laughs> be, no, I, I, just because you're no, so no, enthusiastic. No, 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 no. You know, remember Kirk Cobain Nirvana? He used to have this different guys who go on stage and dance and went crazy and they were like they were swell screen and they just brought them on stage to dance and go crazy and get I'm them in. going. Yeah. Doing the Bricks? You yeah, 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 he's doing the Bricks. You could so. I want a ticket. I would love a ticket. Well, I would appreciate it. We're just, all talking about it now, but I'd love to be backstage just chilling there. Like, have they not given you a ticket? Right. No, well, we're here's you're talking to the you right man. Hook us up. You're talking to the Let's right man. Let's stick to your word, BBC Radio talking, 1. Not worry about guy well, you need to talk to him. He's the one. He's the main one. Ed, I'll come I'm not you. the main one tomorrow. No, because no, the thing is... Ed, yeah, but you, you get them like, a ticket. I don't want to mean you on a casual level when you've done your work, you've done your business, but when you're in your zone, you know, I don't want to be there. And you know you're trying to get in your zone. You My know? man. The people look at like, Shout out to Kevin. I, I, didn't, I didn't think I was going to see you today. I know, no, we, 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 no, we stay, we stay especially for you because you emailed Mark. Mark was like, Jed would have come in. And I was like, I have to stay. Ed has, like Ed has like still, Christmas, Ed still swerved the uh, I can get you a ticket for the Brits, though, hasn't he? He's going to get me one because Nick Grimshaw was giving them out this morning on, on, on air and you had to say... Okay, John, this is an okay. appeal, okay? What? I feel like we're like... I feel really bad. I don't know because it's crazy because I think everyone doesn't realise about Ed is okay. He plays these massive stadiums but then after the show you take it right back and you have like a sing-song with everybody and you keep it real. He always keeps it real. You really do. And I, we're here... You're just dropping into a conversation between Ed Sheeran and Jedward on BBC Radio 1. As you can hear, it's still continuing. So let's play Kings of Leon.